Hi friends! Welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. So I thought it would be fun to create a spooky and creepy melody for you to learn in time for Halloween. This short melody will give you great practice navigating up and down the neck, and you'll also get great practice with your slides. I'm going to start with a demo of this arrangement, and then we'll move into our tutorial where I'll show you how to play it step by step. If you're enjoying this creepy melody, then please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I hope you enjoy my teaching style, and I hope you'll subscribe for more melodies and arrangements. This melody uses low G tuning, and you'll find options down below in the video description to download the tabs. Now let's get started with our tutorial. We're starting the first measure with our index finger on the third fret of the first string middle finger on the 4th fret of the 2nd string, and ring finger on the 5th fret of the 3rd string. If you're familiar with an E minor chord, this fingering is the same as E minor, just moved up 1 fret. So here's how our first measure sounds, played at a slow tempo. Here I'm playing strings 1, three, two, twice. In measure two, we're going to play the same sequence of strings, but we're starting with a different fingering. So we're going to move our index finger up to the fourth fret of the first string for the first note. Then we'll play string three and two, and we've kept our middle and ring fingers in place. Now we'll move our index finger back to the third fret for the final three notes. So here's our full second measure. In measure three, we'll open up the second string by lifting our middle finger, keeping our index and ring fingers in place. We're going to pick strings 4, 3, and 2 twice. And then we finish measure 3 with a tremolo. Here we're going to pick the first string three times in a row, starting with our ring finger, then middle finger, and then index finger. The last note of the tremolo carries through measure 4, and then measures 5, 6, and 7 are the same as measures 1, 2, and 3. In measure 8, we've just played another tremolo, and then we're moving up to our 7th fret with our ring finger and middle finger on the 7th fret of strings 1 and 2. Here we're going to pick these two strings and immediately slide to the 8th fret. Then we're going to place our index finger down on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. So now we have the 8th fret covering strings 1, 2, and 3. We're going to go back to our same sequence of strings that we played in measure 1, starting with string 1, three, two, and then one, three, two again. In measure 10, we'll play the same sequence of strings, but we're placing down our pinky on the 10th fret of the first string for our very first note. And then we'll lift it up 
Chapter 11, keeping our fingers in place on the 8th fret, we're going to place our pinky down on the 11th fret of the first string. So we'll pick string 1, then string 2, then we'll lift up our pinky to play the 8th fret of the first string, and then we'll place our pinky back down on the 10th fret of the first string, then back to the second string, and then we'll lift up our pinky to play the eighth fret of the first string once more. So here's how it looks to play measure 11 at a slow tempo. At this point, to finish this musical phrase, we're going to move our middle and ring fingers down to the third fret of strings one and two to start measure 12. The rest of measure 12 through measure 15 is played the same way as the end of measure eight through measure 11. In measure 16, we're going down to the third fret of strings 1 and 2, just like we did in measure 12, but this time we're going to do a slide to the fourth fret and then back to the third fret. To finish measure 16, we'll play the open third string, the second string, and then strings 1 and 2 together. In measure 17, we're placing our index finger on the first fret of the first string, lifting up our ring finger. We'll play strings one and two together, then the open third string, the second string, and then strings one and two together again. Measure 18 is played the same way as measure 17, but we're placing our ring finger back down on the third fret of the first string. In measure 19, we're going back to the first fret of the first string with our index finger. We'll play strings one and two together, then the open third string, and then strings one and two together to finish this musical phrase. So here's how it looks to play what we've covered in measures 16 through 19 at a slow tempo. At the end of measure 19, we're going up to the seventh fret covering strings one and two with our middle and ring fingers. We're going to pick strings one and two and slide up to the eighth fret. Then we'll go back down to the third fret and we'll slide from fret three to four and back to three, just like we did at the beginning of measure 16. Then we'll repeat that going back up to the seventh fret sliding up to the 8th fret, and then back down to 3, to 4, to 3. Now we're in measure 21, and next we're going to pick the open 3rd string, and to finish measure 21, we'll place our index finger on the 1st fret of the 1st string to pick strings 1 and 2 together. In measure 22, we'll place our ring finger on the third fret of the first string to pick strings one and two together. Next, in measure 22, we're starting the final phrase of the song. So we're starting on the fourth fret of strings one and two, still using our middle and ring fingers. When we pick these two strings, we're going to slide down to the third fret. Then we'll place our pinky down on the fourth fret of the second string and pick strings two and three together. Next, we'll pick the open second and third strings together. 
And when we do this, we're going to hammer on to the third fret of the second string and then pull off. So here's what this looks like. And then our final note to end this melody, we're going to use our index finger on the first fret of the second string and play strings two and three together. So here's the final phrase of this melody, played at a slow tempo. In the spirit of Halloween, if you'd like to send me a treat, then you'll find a link below to an easy way to buy me a coffee. I hope you've enjoyed learning this fun, spooky, and creepy melody. Have fun practicing, and have a safe Halloween. Thanks for watching.